Okay, I figured out how to get this fixed. Uh, I'm using a brand new image, uh, uh, SD card, which is 512. I'm ordering a hard drive, so I'm going to test it with the hard drive 2 terabyte. See if this this version will work with uh, uh, 2 terabyte. And uh, I went in, I went into the advanced option. See, even this screen is full screen. Uh, press uh, B. Now you go to where you say uh, resolution. I did the overscan thing, but that's did not. I mean, it's good to try it, but it doesn't really do anything. But if you go to resolution, I I set the resolution to the to the DMT, okay, and the very last one, 16 by 9. Can y'all see that? Okay, this is what I set set it to. Okay, so now everything is full screen. Okay, All right, it's the very last one at the bottom. Okay, it's the highest resolution using uh, DMT. Okay, and that that will fix all this and then it will boot it. All right, then uh, I need to I need to utilize my disk space, so I need to go to B, expand the uh, enhanced SD card. Uh, because right now it's only using uh, 128 gig and I have a 512 so I need to expand it now I could put more stuff into the SD card so I'm done with this portion okay and then I need to set up my Wi-Fi so that's how you fix the screen so pretty much everything I show you is up to date everything is done only thing I haven't shown you is how to copy the file over and plus I'm going I'm already in the hard drive I won't get it till the weekend I want to see if I could put two terabytes so that way I could add more game to this because it's a good image it just don't have a lot of everything you want it but it have extra luxury you know Marquia and all this so now everything is boot up the full screen like it should be now my joystick is not fixed yet so I need to fix that joystick and the way I figured out how to fix it is run the game and set it up set up the so the d-pad will work this is a brand new uh, SD card I just put in 512 so first thing I did was to fix the screen so the screen is fixed so I'm gonna fix the fix the joystick because the joystick is not working correctly oh let me zoom back out okay so now I need to fix the joystick and uh, what else I need to fix I need to set up the Wi-Fi I guess I could set up the Wi-Fi later uh, okay let's go to option Yeah, let's go ahead and start again real quick. I want to see how it's set up and then we can fix the joystick at the same time. So I'm going to go to uh, Galaga because uh, Galaga is the one that that I could have problem with the joystick. Let's do Galaga 88. Let's turn the sound up a little bit. Ship, you know, Galaga is going to be long, but at least it's going to be long to the top, not just in the middle. Galaga is the one that I have problem with the joystick. Now this is the first time I'm playing this game with a new image, so I don't know is it stretch or is it it's gonna be in the middle. Okay, it's in the middle, that's good. But it is full screen. It's all the way up to the top or all the way up to the bottom. Now the only problem I have is the joystick. I see if joystick. Yeah, see if joystick doesn't work. Neither one. So I need to go to select and X. And then I'm going to choose the option that I showed you last time. So I'm going to go all the way down to where you see the option. This is in a quick menu option. Do I need to zoom in on that? Okay, you guys can see that. Good. All right, so now it's full screen. You can see everything. So I'm going to press A. Then two things that, okay, it's already mapped to retro path, so you don't have to do anything. But this one needs to change to digital. If you don't change it to digital, the 
joystick is using the analog gamepad, it's not using the digital uh, joystick. So for people who have RK one up, you need to do that. Now for people who play at home with PlayStation, uh, PSP joy controller or Xbox controller or 8-bit controller, you don't have to do nothing like, like this. This is only for people who playing the this game image on the bottom top. That's the reason we have Marquia. I mean, why do we you have a Marquia if you play at home? Am I right? So this portion needs to be changed to uh, digital. Okay. So once you once you do that, press B, and then you want to save it. So we're gonna go. Uh, I want to check the video before I go out. So let's go to the setting and. Uh, I want to check, no, I want to check the in, in, input. Not the input, what am I checking now? Aspect. Yeah, go to video. Okay, the scaling. I want to check the, the scaling. So it's, it is set to core provider, so you don't have to change anything. So f straight from the burn to the computer, I mean, straight from the SD card burn and put it in here this thing is good okay you don't do nothing on that all right okay so one thing we do need to do is save the setting so we're going to go to uh we're going to get out go to configuration we're going to we're going to say save on access okay press p and then we're gonna press B again. Then we're gonna to go to configuration, press A. And then we are going to choose this, this one, okay? Not the one below, but this one. Save current configuration. That will save whatever you changed that you just did, okay? All right? So we didn't do anything on the, we just changed the setting. So that's not part of the controller, is it? No, I don't think we did anything on control. Now the spinner trackball should only matter work. All right, let's just quit. And let's just go back in. And it should work now with the controller, with the D-pad. So now you can see my my D-pad control. Okay, now you can see me. See, it work now. So the screen issue, we got that fixed, and then the D-pad control, we got that fixed. Now we're going to, uh, when we expanded the driver, so we got those taken care of. Now let's test one more uh, with the full screen. Let's test uh, something with an S. Well, we can test Ninja Turtle T, because that's supposed to be a, a full screen. Uh, let's go to Ninja Turtle. Uh, this is the one that I get confused between the two player, I mean four player, two player. So this second one is a two player, so I'm going to change the name. I'm going to go to edit the database. And this is how you delete something. If something you add it, it doesn't work, you could delete it from here too. So we're going to edit. See, so you got delete option, cancel, save, and scrap. So we're going to press enter on the name, enter again. If once you see the cursor, that's when you could change it. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So here I'm gonna put two player. And the reason I'm doing that is so, because the name is exactly identical. And if you don't put that, how do you know what is what? I put an extra space, so now you press A again. Um, press enter on your keyboard. There you go, enter on your keyboard. Now you're over here. Can you use the joystick, go down, get okay, press A. And now your description is 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 better. It's using the two PP. That's the because the other one. Then we're gonna save it. 
save okay and then press B now if you look at the description it's gonna say two player see right there two player you want that because that way you know that if you don't have a four joystick you could choose different uh, different uh, different ninja turtle you don't have to get stuck with first player using first character second player using Raphael and third so and so on so this one at least you let you shift from different one all right see that it is full screen so so you could put this on this screen or that screen it doesn't matter you could now this one based on the core that's why people add a uh, basil because it, it's not stretch this is the way the game supposed to be okay it's not stretch so there's no uh, basil there's no basil on this okay so but it's the full screen of the game see you could choose different character throw the character out okay so that's great and now let's test let's try a game that we we could fully use up the full screen let's try the game that that will do the full screen which is the now you know the atomic wave is not fixed so if we use that we're gonna have the same problem where the system's gonna crash so let's do it anyway so you have to replace the you have to replace that. Oh, also we have to fix the, the joystick, the the track mode. Okay, let's go ahead and test the full screen and then we're gonna do the track mode. And then we're going to, uh, before we go into track mode, there's a one option that he suggested. So we're gonna try that option instead of the, the one I suggested. It's just one push of a button. And that should fix the joystick. If it doesn't, we're gonna reconfigure it. Maybe we should have config. I don't know. Because if we use that option, it's gonna add uh, other stuff onto it. Yeah, that's why a lot of games have basil on it. Because all the game is not made for. Uh, this kind of screen, you know, in the old days, always like this. But it's not, at least not square, you know. So the sound is good, everything is good. It just, you cannot get to pass the. You just cannot pass to this, this level where the. Tank. After you get to the tank, that's when it uh. He can't kill you if you just stay, sit here. See up to here. Hey, he passed it. So maybe the track mode that messed it up because when I went to the track mode and I got messed up and I came back here, that's when this game got messed up. Because the gameplay fine if you play from here, but once it's messed up from the track mode, it come back, it will have the same problem. All right, so that means if you stay in a animation station, you good. But if you go to track mode, it's gonna mess up this game. Okay, so that's why, that's why when you play, it didn't have problem. But you, when you go to track mode, you have issue. Let's get out of this game and let's go to track mode. 
Now he recommend that before you go to track mode, based on his readme text, on the 64 gig it does have the PDF file. There's two PD, PDF file. Uh, it's a lot of good information. It tell you where they put add more music to it to the music background. And some reason I'm not hearing no music. It's very low. So you could go to background music and turn the music up because it's very low. So I want to, I like to be in the 100 so I could control it from my amplifier. See now you can hear it. So if you want to turn your volume higher, you can turn it up. Okay, he got it down low. This is the one he recommend, a track mode configuration right here. Okay. You have to turn that on in order for the joystick to match with the other one. You guys could still see it, correct? Okay. So this is the track mode. So you have to press A. And that should fix it. That's what he said. All right. Now we go to track mode. So do that first, then come to the track mode. Hey, I didn't know this thing have a have a Batman behind it. <laughs> I didn't know that. They have Batman and Robin behind the background. Kind of faded, but you can see it. I like all. I like the the work he put in. It's, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's just some minor glitch because his when he set it up, he set it up for a home console, and this is an arcade cabinet, so the his configuration is a little bit different. So that's why. So that's why maybe that's why I'm having this issue, where if you was to plug it at home using your home TV and regular stuff, it, it will work fine. Okay, it's booting up. Now we're gonna go back to play the last game we play, which is the Galaga 88. Remember we have problem with the joystick. So let's see if, if this last game, did this transfer over? Yeah, okay, remember everything I played. So let's try Galaga 98, because last time when I tried it, without using that function that he suggested, my so far the A is working. So I think it, it did transfer the mapping for you. So we're gonna try the the Galaga and see if all the joystick work. Let's turn the sound back up. Hey work. So that's all you gotta do. Now if you, the way I showed you last time is that's correct too. You could do it that way too. But the, way, the, the shortcut he, he did, I recommend do that, it'll be easier, you don't have to mess with anything. All the buttons that from emulator transfer over, so that's good. Uh, Alright, see if we get out. Now one more thing, last time I couldn't get out of this screen, let's press B. Yeah, it does work. So that's cool. Now, what about my main screen? Which one is my main screen? See, my main screen is not set up. I don't know which one is my main screen. Okay, the way he set up is select and X button to get to this main screen. Okay, to the to the editor screen. So one thing I like about track mode is when you add a game, and you could come over here. And you could, you could tell it to, to, uh, you know, set up the game stuff for you. Is this the white one? No, that's not the one I want. So let's X this out. Okay. Start and X give you this. Start and X is the one I want. Okay. This is the one where. So. I just need to remember so I know how to get in here. So star is X and the other one is uh, select and X. X is the middle button. 
to get to this uh, track mode screen. So you could change your controller here. Okay, so your escape button is already been added with joystick A button, which is this one. Okay, so he, he automatically add this. Before it was just a escape. And then uh, the other one is the The other one is a tab. So they suggest you use uh, joystick number nine to get the to get to this screen. Okay. And then up and down is using joystick five and joystick. Next letter, joystick two. So it does have it set up. You just have to remember which one is which. Which one is your joystick A joystick? So you just have to test it, see which one is which. Okay, so that's B. And then if you have a new game that you added, you could go here and say generate. Let me see if I remember. I wonder if it's the same place or not. Oh, you gotta go to emulator. Sorry. You gotta go to emulator, pick an emulator. And if, I'm so sorry. If you just have to pick an emulator and then go to. So if you add some game, you could go emulator and it will automatically add the new game you added into the game. Lus.xml, I believe. So if you was to go to, let's just say PC Engine, okay? Then you go down to here, General the Collection ROM. So if you add anything, you go here and you say, yes, I want you to override the, the PC Engine list, which is a game list, and say yes. So whatever you put in there, you will create a new, a new game list for you. So this is a very good information to know because a lot of time I forget how to do it. So with the track mode, it helped you to create a game list easier than the, than the emulation station. Emulation, emulation station, you have to reboot it and then you have to edit the game list and everything. This one, if you have everything already set up for you, like the ROM, if you already put all the ROM and everything in the right place, you do this, you don't have to do any more of the setup. It only matter know where the image is, okay? But for emulation station, you have to edit the gameless.xml and you have to put, tell it where the file is, which is a little bit harder, long and, and it's, you know. So that's what I like about track mode is it have this option. So, so we track, what I just told you is, you press select X, you get to this place, then you go to emulation station. Then you pick the the game you want that you you have added the new game. And then uh, this one doesn't have any of the other one. Okay, go back to PC Engine again. And then from here, you scroll all the way down to almost to the finish, and you, you generally press A, and then you say yes. And that's pretty much it, all right? So I will be doing that. I'll be transferring file over. I'm gonna use a computer to do this. If you use a network, it just take forever. Using the Win SCP is take forever. I have a program now that will allow me to see the SD card without it, to, without it being inside the Raspberry Pi. You put the SD card, mount it, and then you will look at it as a hard drive, like a dry letter. Then you just transfer the file over without have to deal with the network speed, which is slow. Okay, all right, that's pretty much it. So the track mode uh, is not hundred percent stable. That means if you was to play some game, and if it's corrupted, 
more likely that game is gonna be corrupted by the track mode special the special this game because I know when I play this game it did got corrupted let's try again what the heck let's try again if it corrupted I could still fix it but at least we know straight from the SD card burn or you could say straight from the box would it work in the track mode or is it something I did that I screwed it up but this car is a, is a faster speed SD car 512 by scan this it's not the best brand but at least the price is reasonable Oh shoot. See we booted. So once that happened, that game is messed up. So if you were to come back to to uh emulation station. Oh, didn't show you how to set up the Wi-Fi. This this video is gonna show you everything so you know what you need to do. So set up Wi-Fi, you're gonna have a keyboard plug in. You're gonna select yes, press enter. You're gonna select, uh, why does it come here? I should say no. I should have said no. Because I, it's my bad. When you say yes, it's gonna come to here. You don't wanna say yes. Okay, connect, connect the Wi-Fi, all right? So you're gonna press A. Now you type in your password. Ah, I choose a one one. Now my system is acting weird. All right, let's we do it. Connect Wi-Fi. Okay. Just gonna wait for it to press A again. There you go. Okay. Now we have. Oh, that IP address is wrong too. Disconnect. Reconnect. Cancel. Here you're gonna say no because we are doing Wi-Fi only. So, okay. So by getting out and we come back in, my IP address is set up correctly now. All right. So one two five. All right. Let's exit out. Okay. So Wi-Fi is set up. Joystick is set up. That's pretty much it. There is nothing much. Now we just need to copy file over. Let me change back to uh, emulation mode. And hey, let's check the system information. See if this thing is. See, my temperature is very good. It's still at 34 Celsius, even though I've been playing for almost 45 minutes. SD card. It's recognized my SD card. I still have 341 gig available, so I could transfer that much file over, and there's my IP address. So that's good to know. So now I have space to transfer. Now I'm gonna go and return back to emulation station.
Yeah, there's Robin and Batman up there in the background. So if you get this image, you could. I do recommend getting this image. Uh, one thing good about this image, you know, compared to other images, it have Marquia support. It have the latest beta version test already configured and it's working very well and very nice and beautiful and uh, Dynamic Duo did a their team did a really great job the team did a really great job by adding the a new a unique picture they added a picture per each each game okay so it's not like it's, it's not grabbing stuff from other area it's just grabbing a picture a full picture of the game so they did a lot of picture unique picture for each game and it's created by by them because you never you know because you never see this any any other other places only their stuff so he put he put a lot of time to make this and let's see so if I was to go back to the same game, I have a feeling it's gonna crash. Because if it crash on, on that side, once you come back, it's gonna crash. So I don't think I'm gonna demo that. I think you guys already seen that already. Because once it crash, it's just gonna crash. So that's why I say, uh, I don't know, is it, I think it's only for atomic wave. I'm not sure that's gonna be the case for everything. So I do recommend back up your image your data in case it does corrupt it you could transfer it back and then your game will not be messed up so apparently that's the reason this game is messed up it's because of the track mode so far so far based on what I see is atomic wave is the one that somehow got corrupted by by the track mode Maybe if I play it fast enough, I won't have this problem. <laughs> I don't know. Look like it's okay. Just the track mode that I have an issue. I wonder if I need to overclock it, might might able to fix it. So that's another 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 subject. Right now, I just want to show you all the possible fix you could do to it, so everything will run smooth on RK One Up modded cabinet, so you could use this image. And then you can set up your marquee by buying a bigger screen, you know, horizontal to this side screen. And then you could play with all this cool stuff. Alright, thank you for watching. And I'll check you guys later.